could you tell us what is the roughing and how does it work? Sure. It was developed by a woman named Ida Rolf. So that's where the funny name comes from. She called the work structural integration. It's about the structure of the body, how you stand, your posture, alignment, flexibility, range of motion, all of those pieces. And because the name structural integration was a big mouthful, people just started calling it Rolfing based on her last name. So her focus was on the body and being able to uh, bring the body into alignment with gravity. She was the first one to really think about gravity as the major factor in just about anything that goes on. So as we all know, I'm assuming we're talking mostly to physical therapists here, when somebody's head just starts to go forward, that puts a lot of pressure into the, the neck, then other parts of the body have to tighten to compensate for that. The body is actually out of alignment. And when you bring the, the head and neck on top of the torso, then there isn't that pull and the body can actually be, again, more flexible, more easy to move. So her focus, she, I could go into the whole story, but she, she was uh, hired to research fascia. And she studied fascia and discovered that through the application of some form of energy, that fascia will change state. So it goes from a sol state, which is solid, to a more gel state, which is much more liquid. And that energy we're using isn't like woo-woo energy. It's energy that when I push into the body, I create friction, which creates heat, which is a form of energy. And I can feel the fascia change form underneath my fingers. So the easiest way to describe it is it's kind of like a slow, deep massage. We're physically manipulating the tissues as such and bringing the fascial fibers either lengthening the ones that have become short or moving the ones that have gone out of place or separating two layers that have become stuck to each other. And we see people 10 times so that we can oversee the entire structure, not just where the symptom seems to be. People will come in and say, my neck hurts. Can you work just in my neck? Sure I can. And I can make it feel great in a couple sessions. But I know that if I don't change how they're standing on their feet and the tilt of their pelvis and how much the rib cage is moving underneath it, it's not going to be a change they're going to keep. So we see the entire body. We're not trying to be fix it people, though people sometimes, well, most of the time, get something fixed. The other thing we do with Rolfing is we work a lot with people whose bodies work well, but they'd like it to work better. So I see a lot of dancers, athletes, people who are looking to improve their performance and have their structure brought into alignment so they can get off the line quicker or they can stand better in second position or whatever it is that they're trying to do.